In this brief video, we'll walk through a reference architecture that will show how data governance and master data management can be implemented together within Azure and the Microsoft Intelligent Data Platform to create a unified data governance platform so that organizations can get more out of their data more easily. But first, let's take a look at why this kind of architecture is required in the first place. Of course, we all know that we uh, want data that is high quality and trusted, complete and consistent and accurate and ready to use so that we can use it to drive digital transformation, business insights, operational efficiency, whatever your data centric objectives might be. But what we nearly always have instead is data that came from many different siloed sources, uh, ERPs, CRMs, legacy systems, external data feeds, etc. And that data is nearly always inconsistent and complete, uh, which means the records within it are duplicated, ungoverned and of perhaps questionable quality. So the data itself becomes a problem, becomes a brick wall or a barrier, if you like, that prevents us to getting to our business objectives. So how do we break through that barrier? That is the job of Microsoft Purview, a data governance platform, and Prophecy MDM, uh, a master data management platform. Purview is there to scan and classify sources, amongst other things, uh, and also then to define data standards through which the data should be uh, managed or governed. Uh, but it's important to note that Purview doesn't by itself actually do any governance and enforcement. It is Prophecy MDM, the master data management platform that will enforce those standards across the data uh, silos. It'll match and merge key information across those silos, validate that the data conforms to the governance standard set out in Purview, and then where it doesn't, it can remediate that data. So basically, we're, we're using these two systems working together to overcome data silos and create a trusted data foundation. So let's get into the data architecture itself. First step is the Purview can be used to scan uh, source systems classify the information um, and uh, as well as many other things that it that it does but essentially create then a data catalog that tells us where key information uh, is located what are the sources of customer data product data location data and so on working in parallel prophecy mdm uh, is used to create master data entities uh, that model key domains that we're interested in looking at, such as customer, product, location, reference data, and so on and so on. Quick observation, uh, we find that most Prophecy customers um, are multi-domain, 83% have more than one domain, and 63% have implemented a second domain in their first year. We encourage that very much because increased coverage of the key master data domains increases the value of your data and your data estate and all the subsequent activities. So that's how we get set up. And when we uh, get started, we we, um, uh, we link the instances of Purview and Prophecy. Prophecy is able to publish master data assets and processes directly into Purview. The data governance stewards working in Purview can take those definitions and expand them with glossary um, information, uh, um, uh, data dictionary information, and uh, as well as governance requirements. So the governance standards and policies set in Purview can then be published and made available directly in Prophecy. So now we're ready to load data. Um, we load source master data from the legacy systems or, or all of these uh, data sources, um, and they're subject to data quality, golden record management, which is the matching and merging uh, of them into a golden record, validation, and where the data fails validation, data stewards can step in and remediate as required. So now we've got some certified valid uh, uh, data. Where did that data come from? Um, Azure Data Factory is typically uh, used to load master data from all of these different sources directly into Prophecy. It can also be used and would normally also be used to load transactional data directly into an analytic, analytic database such as Synapse as well as the master data being published into Synapse also. So now we've got a foundation for all subsequent analytics and data strategies, whether they're uh, data fabric, data mesh, um, use of machine learning, whatever it is, we've now got the right foundation. We've got a combination of certified master data, as well as all the collected transactional data that we can now use to analyze in whatever way we want. Um, Power BI is a, a typical tool set for this. Power BI has a, uh, dedicated uh, Prophecy uh, uh, connector, so you can uh, directly access master data within Prophecy in Power BI. 
But more importantly, you can access all of the information now in Synapse, which includes the master data and the transactional information, either in Power BI or Azure Machine Learning or any other analytic system you would want. So that in a nutshell is the architecture. And what that allows is that data consumers can now discover certified data sources that are properly governed, that are consistent and complete, um, and seamlessly combine those data sources for enterprise analytics, data driven decision making, and ultimately to get more value out of their data with less effort, which is the whole objective. If you'd like to find out a little bit more about any of this, please come to our website, prophecy.com, or you can go to docs.microsoft.com and search on Prophecy and find these three different reference architectures, which will give you information on Purview, uh, um, Data Factory, and then how to set up the integration with uh, between Purview and Prophecy. Thank you.